Allie, my uh, only daughter, she was born 26 and a half years ago in Newton, Massachusetts. I was love at first sight. She's my little brown-eyed girl. Love to hug and hold. I've given her a lot of nicknames over the years. She's been known as Sweets and Peach and Beanie and Peanut. Every, whenever she was a little girl, all she ever did was want me to hold her. Uh, we took lots of naps. We had a lot of rituals at night, remember Allie? We had the, the, uh, the basket ride, laundry basket ride, and we, we did the hammock ride. And um, A lot of nights we went to parties, and I'd be, I'd be watching in the rear view mirror because I knew she did this every time. She pretended she had fallen asleep in the car because she wanted me to carry her to bed. So the, I'd open up the door and she'd fake, you know, she's laying over head to the side and I unbuckle her and I'd carry it up and I'd kiss her in the cheek and the head. And as soon as I put her into bed, she'd wake up and like, you know, thank you, daddy. And she was just, uh, our love for each other is, uh, is, is just amazing. I'm, I'm not saying that she's perfect. I'm doing a lot of bragging. I'm, I'm, I'm her father. I'm very proud of her. Um, but I think probably the best decision she's ever made of all those things that she's done is sitting right next to her in gym. So let me just give some advice. First thing I'll tell you is uh, start every day th thinking about your spouse, thinking about ways that you can make their day a better day, and then end the day thanking them for that. So focus on, on your spouse. The second thing is the one that every family talks about is the, the priorities in life, faith, family, and friends. God is your, is your uh, rock. Jesus is your savior. Don't lose him in your life. And the only, th the only people who will always be there for you is your family. And you've got an amazing family, Connelly. Allie's got two brothers, two amazing brothers. Now she has two amazing sisters. So uh, family is gonna be a big part of, of that. So, uh, and then finally, keep humor. Don't lose your sense of humor, right? Humor is a great way to reach people, great way to warm each other's hearts. Don't let it become angry or bitter. Keep that sense of humor, because I think it's, it's so important in a relationship. Jim Alley is one of my three greatest gifts in this world, so giving her hand to you in marriage is uh, pretty special. And I know, and I want you to promise you're going to take care of her and love her. Because if you don't, Daddy will come calling. But, uh, some grandkids, but, uh, you got 10 days uh, of uh, honeymoon. That's more than enough time for any Irishman to make us a baby. We want grandkids. Grandkids. We had a little bit of a long distance relationship for a while as I've lived across the country for the last five or six years. Um, so it was kind of like, you know, Jim would tell me about her and I would listen, but I never knew who this mystery woman was. Okay, but the, uh, we were, they were talking earlier about the, you know, the time they met back in 2018 and I remember I was back home and I went to his apartment um, in Palos and he was talking about her. And I could tell the way that he glowed up, I'm like, this is the girl for him. Right, and it was just an amazing conversation to have your best friend be that passionate and happy that he found the one. I can't be more happy for the two of you. This has been a beautiful ceremony, beautiful evening. So I want to raise your glass um, for the two, the new married couple. Cheers. And I cannot thank them enough. I seriously know I could go to Allie or Jim for anything. So I am so lucky to have you guys in my life and I am so excited for the life that you guys are about to start together. So cheers. 
to Allie and Jim Connolly. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We bow our heads before you, Lord, and we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful day. We give thanks for the blessings you've bestowed upon us. We pray for Allison and James Connolly. We pray to their vows they shared today. And in the tradition of the Irish Clada, we pray for their infinite love, loyalty, and friendship. As we heard today in scriptures, Genesis 2.18 from Angela, we pray that they are indeed one flesh. And as we heard today in the in first letter from Paul to the Corinthians, um, that we heard from Judy, we pray that Jim and Allie's love is patient and kind. We pray that their love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. We pray that Allie and Jim's love for each other may reflect on God's perfect love for them, as demonstrated in the gift of his son, Jesus. We pray a special prayer tonight for Allie and Jim's angels above. We pray that the spirit of these angels remain alive in their hearts and that these angels keep a watchful eye over them as a journey united forever. And together, as one we pray, bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 